And it's good news with Jig Bomback. I'm Jeff Heiser here with Mr. Bomback, bringing us the good news for the week. How are you, Mr. Bomback? I am doing great, and I am just so happy to be sharing good news with you and TNR listeners. You know, I have to tell you a little bit about our contest that's going on. Boy, this past week, did we have some close calls. Well, that's what we You know, uh, they... I think some of the people are a little confused on the rules, though. So you want to go over? Sure. Well, first of all, our relatives cannot participate. Uh, That's Bombax and Heisers can't participate. But what this is, is these stories were good news stories that ran previous years. And if a company contacts us and lets us know um, what year those stories were, and they are the first ones, they will get a Apple gift card. You know, we had a we had a couple of callers this past week that uh, gave us the the month and the story, but they uh, couldn't get the year. So, what can <laughs> we, I tell you? We were a little off. If you're listening, here's your last opportunity uh, to to uh, try and win the Apple gift card. And we're going to kick off our day today with good news about Picasso Police Horse Paints in his spare time. And you're not believing this, are you? No, I'm not. <laughs> well, this, this is, and, and he's still painting, by the way. This is a uh, story broke. It's out of St. Petersburg Police Department in Saint, Florida. St. Petersburg, Florida, right here? Yeah, right wow. here. And Jacob is the horse, and uh, he uses different paints, and uh, Officer Jason uses his trainer, and he said... Jason, uh, Jacob, just likes to paint, and he accidentally happened to see paint one day with his nose, and he started doing it, and they now have pictures that Jacob did. Now, now, how does the horse paint? I knew you would ask that. <laughs> what he does is he uses his face and one of his paws, and he makes different images i mean they're not right you know right but they make different images different colors and they have initially the police department didn't believe what he was doing but they watch him and he does it all the time wow now was his uh, grandfather mr ed <laughs> <laughs> i don't know <laughs> for those that don't know mr ed mr ed could actually talk that he was is the talking good. horse <laughs> that, that is good <laughs> Oh, gosh. On to the next story. <laughs> CEO who set minimum wage at 70 k is swamped with business now. And I know this story. This is such a good story. Yes. And, and this story broke. Um, when it broke, it, and we're not going to say when, but when it broke, everybody said, this guy is crazy. His name is Dan Price, and he has gravity payments. And he decided that he was paying every employee, every single employee, $70,000 a year. And he slashed his own annual pay from $1 million to do this. And everybody said, this is not going to fly. Well, as we know, gravity has literally taken off. Taken off, yep, yep. And, yep. and again, he didn't do it to say, hey, I think this is the way to do it. He just wanted to pay back his employees. Right. Now, <laughs> I got to go here. So <laughs> I got to ask you this question. You know, our, our current president yes. is, is not taking a salary. Right. Do you think he's going to bump up the minimum <laughs> wage to $70,000? That would be good. I mean, <laughs> I'm sure there'd be a lot of people out there who are very happy about that. Uh, here, you heard it first here. No, he's right. not done it. <laughs> Man. In fact, I, I wouldn't be surprised if he'd like to totally do, do away with it. Yeah. Oh, and, and just back on this gentleman yes. here. Uh, he, has, since this story first came out, uh, he has now had over 9,000 applications to work for him. Holy smokes. Well, I do that. <laughs> I, I mean, yeah, I would, yeah. <laughs> 
Why not? Why not? The next good news story that we have for today is winner of boat hands over keys to less fortunate fishermen. And again, this is going back to people helping people and people not thinking. Fred McMahon, he, he won a fishing competition in Jasper, Texas. And he was given a tri, Triton bass boat because it was a drawing. And he noticed that uh, there was a gentleman that Albert Jenkins that couldn't go out on the boat for this competition just sat on the dock. So when he hand when he got the keys, he walked over to Albert and said, "Here, this is now your boat." Wow, <laughs> I, I know <laughs> that, that that just gave me chills. <laughs> but but it's like yeah. you know, and and he and he said, and Fred says, "I didn't do it for the attention." I just wanted to help out Albert. Wow. Now, does it say if he knew this guy? By he did any not chance? know he, him. He didn't know him. He just gave him the keys and said, here you go. Because everybody else was out in their boat trying to win the competition, and wow. it was Albert. That's a, that's, that's a really good, good uh, feel-good story. The next one um, kind of leaves me wondering about this. Love to Aurora. Yeah, we remember uh, when the Love to Aurora campaign started. Uh, and again, we won't say the year, but it attracted celebrities and actors like a guy named Cullen Douglas, and um, they decided that they wanted to, because of what happened in Aurora, Mm -hmm. and so uh, Cullen talked to uh, friends that are in the industry, and they started this campaign, and it just went all over the place, and Cullen said, it's, you know, we get involved. It wasn't driven by publicists. It was just driven because we want to make sure the people of Aurora know that we care for them. Wow. That's that's a real, really heartwarming story right there because so many times they get such bad raps yeah. for things that they do, things that they say. Exactly. The way they act. But this here. Yeah. Is is good, and you know what? I don't remember seeing that on the news. I really don't. Well, it's interesting. It was it took over Facebook for several weeks, and it took over Twitter. But the only place that I remember seeing it is there was a about a five, no, about a two minute segment on um, Fox. Wow. Yeah, there was a two-minute segment it, about it's. It's sad, actually. It yeah. really is. So um, you want to remind our listeners about the contest? This is the last week for it. That's right. And, and so if you could uh, contact either me at SpaceCoastCityGuide at gmail.com and tell us what year these stories occurred, if you are the first one, you will get a Apple gift card. And they can also contact you, Jeff, at here at Talk Network Radio at info at talknetworkradio.com. Now, we do have a few rules. Yeah. The Bombax and the Heisers can't participate. That's true. And you have to get the year right, not the month right. Right. Exactly. And if you give us the month and the wrong year, you're still wrong. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it has to be the right year. Yeah, it has to be the right year. And, and hopefully, you know, the winner's. We'll be happy, and we'll see. And what we're trying to show is that good news has been going on for a long time. Very long time. Well, Mr. Bombeck, it's always a pleasure having you here at the studio talking about good news. And until next week, have yourself a wonderful week. You too. Have a great good week. <laughs>